She my trap, we let her hit the band, oh. We be cutting out, watch how far the bands go. We just set a goal, talking about your Lambos. 50, 60 grand, 500 grand, so. Hi guys, this video is going to be about how I did my ombre DIY style. Um, I do apologize, this video is not going to be a demo just because I already did this um, in the spring. So it was a while ago, um, but I am either going to dye or color my hair and I wanted to get this video up. I wanted to help some people out just because I learned a lot through this ombre. I did uh, my hair ombre before like a few years ago and I learned a lot. So I wanted to share my advice and tips and tricks and tips on how to get this ombre so just keep on watching I use the L'Oreal touch on highlight kit um, looks like this it's pretty pricey it's probably around like 15 or 20 dollars I got mine at like CVS or Rite Aid though um, I did buy two boxes though because my hair is pretty long um, I did I was going for like a more like by Lodge ombre look kind of like a highlighted like messy like not like the dark to medium to light type of thing that's what i did a while like a few years ago so i wanted like the highlighted kind of look i dyed it first and brunettes have the orange undertone in them so my hair turned out pretty like a light brownish orange kind of color which i knew was going to happen afterwards i bought purple shampoo and conditioner which is super important um, the purple tones in the shampoo is going to tone out the orange tone in brunette's hair. It, they're um, opposite colors on the color wheel, so they like cancel each other out, kind of. So I bought that. Um, I was in Sally's, though, and I was like in a rush. So I, I, <laughs> I ended up not smelling the shampoo and conditioner, and that was like, I don't know why. Like, who does that? But I bought the, let's find it, the Clairol Shimmering Lights. So it looks like that. And let me tell you, this shampoo and conditioner smelled real bad. Like, it smelled like a grandma. Like, like a grandma's house, like straight up. Like every time I used it, I was like, oh, like, let me wash this out already. Like it just smelled like so, like I hate using it. It was gross. But I bought that, I used it up just because I knew that I had to. Um, and then I also bought a toner, which I didn't do the first time I ever operated my hair, which is super important too. When I was at Sally's, I bought like this little thing of, um, I think it was Wella the brand. It was the purple, blue, purple toner thing or whatever, and the developer. So I would just mix like half and half, like equal parts, um, you know, with a little hairbrush thing. And I would just paint it on to like the highlighted areas. And then I would just like bun my hair up and I would leave it on for whatever time it's set. Um, after I did that though with the toner, I would just constantly keep washing my hair with a purple sh shampoo and conditioner, which is super important. Your hair is not going to be like platinum blonde like the second you use it. it. It's really gradual. That's the whole thing with ombre hair with brunettes. Like um, it's going to be orange at first. Like the more you tone it though and use the purple shampoo and conditioner and like purple treatments it's gonna you're gonna gradually see the color like become more blonde um i do still have some orange in my hair but i'm i'm okay with it because it like i don't know it it blends in i do have like other blonde more blonder streaks in there so anyways um i did that i did after i ran out of the gross smelling shampoo and conditioner i went to ulta to buy another one um, I did some research on this and it got good reviews. Um, I don't, I finished it up, but I kept the bottle of the shampoo. Uh, it's the Joko Purple Balance color. I can never say this. It's the purple, why do I say purple first when purple is obviously not first? It's the color Balance Purple Shampoo, which it eliminates brassy yellow tones on blonde and gray hair. Obviously, I don't have blonde or gray hair, but it's going to eliminate the orange tones that is in my brunette hair. So I bought this along with the conditioner. Um, I love the smell of these. They're great shampoos. They were on sale too for Ulta. They were like two for 20. So I got this for 20. Um, the thing that I really, really liked about the Clairol shampoo was the color was a really dark purple. Like it was probably like the color of this with um, this, the Joko, if I'm pronouncing that right. The shampoo was also the same dark purple. You can't, like I use it up, but it's dark like I feel like the darker it is kind of like the more better it will work the one thing I didn't like though with this is the conditioner was like a light purple which I use it up you can't really see but 
it's in the cap. So it was like a light purple. I mean, I like the shampoo. I liked it a lot. Um, I just feel like it would work better if the uh, conditioner was darker. After I would get out of the shower, the next thing, if I didn't tone it, I would tone my hair like about twice a month. I wouldn't go overboard with the toning. It is bad for your hair. I mean, bleaching it is also, but I didn't want to keep doing it. So I would do it about twice a month. I would just leave that in my hair. I did go back to the drugstore and buy two more of the L'Oreal Touch on Highlight Kits. And I did bleach my hair again. Um, I know it's crazy. It's like really bad for your hair. But I knew I wanted my hair lighter. So I knew that bleaching it a second time would help. And so I did that. I went just a little bit higher on the ends. You know, I saturated the bottoms more. And, you know, I got a lighter color, which is what I wanted. So after I bleached my hair again, um, when I went to the drugstore to go buy those two boxes, I picked this up. The L'Oreal Ever Pure Brass Vanishing System looks like this. It's the same thing as like the purple shampoo and conditioner. It is purple. It's like a light purple though. And it instantly boosts blonde intensity and nourishes. So um, this is just a purple treatment. You're going to leave in your hair for about, it says three to five minutes. I probably leave it in for like five to ten minutes. Um, but oh well. Um, it's just gonna, it's gonna change the color of your blonde hair again. It's gonna get rid of all the orange tones and it's gonna lighten it and be more blonde. So I would leave this in my hair, I'd put it up in a bun, and then wait, you know, 10 minutes and then rinse it right out. So I would do that, um, every, usually every time I wash my hair I would use this. I don't really wash my hair that often, um, probably like two or three times a week. And then the next step, the next treatment I would use for my... Um, ombre hair is the It's a 10 Leave-In Miracle for blondes. Looks like that. This is also another the sperm moment thing. Um, I knew that I love It's a 10 products and I figured since this was for blondes I might as well get it. Um, this is a purple color just like the light purple like the other L'Oreal treatment was. Um, again though with this, I didn't smell it which is like come on like what the fuck Marissa. People will like this smell. Like, I don't personally, though. It's very florally. Um, it smells like my mom's perfume, which is, like, flowers galore. Um, I don't like that kind of stuff. Like, flower scents aren't really my thing. So a lot of people will like this. Uh, the people who don't like flowers, like, you probably won't like this. Flower scents. I do like flowers, not the scents. I mean, it worked good. I love how soft and smooth it makes my hair and shiny. Um, but I'm out of it. I use it all up. So that's that. I use these two treatments plus the toner that I don't have um, and the purple shampoo and conditioner. Um, let me just say that bleaching your hair is very damaging, um, but if you want a, new, a change to your hair, you want to lighten it up, just do it. I mean, you're going to cut your hair like it grows, so if you mess it up, like don't, don't worry. If you're creative and like to do things yourself, I say go for it. Ombre your hair. What's the worst that could happen? It's bleach. It's hair though, it's gonna grow, you're gonna cut it, like, it's not the end of the world if you mess up. Like, my ombre is not perfect, there's still a lot of dark underneath, which I don't really mind, but, you know, just go for it. I mean, I ombre my hair once before a few years ago, and I knew I wanted to do it again, so I just did it, and I'm happy with the outcome. It was fun for a while it lasted, now I'm ready to either cut or color it, because I want something new, but it's, I've had it since, like, April or May I think so it's been a while um, the color did lighten over time over the use of all the treatments and things so just keep in mind if you are on bringing your hair the color isn't going to be exactly what you want it to be as soon as you do it um, the bleach is going to give it more orange for brunettes anyways um, but the more you use the purple treatments the gra the color will start to gradually lighten so just keep that in mind when ombreing your hair, um, that it's not like right away, it's a gradual process. And also the purple, you, the purple shampoo and conditioner and the toner and the treatments, like, are what make brunettes, like, ombre hair, like, good. Because <laughs> the first time I ever ombreed my hair, I did not use a toner and I did not use purple shampoo, conditioners, or treatments. And my hair was, like, orange. But that was, like, four years ago and I was, I was okay with it. But, yeah. <laughs> Get those stuff because it really works. And uh, I wish everyone the best of luck who is ombreing in their hair. And thanks for watching, guys. And I'll give you a close up of my hair.
in love with the body, I ain't never letting go. I get high with my baby, I just left the mall, I'm getting fly with my baby, yeah. I get right with my baby, I be in the kitchen cooking pies with my baby, yeah. And I get high with my baby, I just left the mall, I'm getting fly with my baby, yeah. I get right with my baby. I be in the kitchen cooking pies with my baby. Oh, oh. She my trap queen. She my trap queen. Why do I feel like this is in like slow motion? When you have a hair on your face and you can't get it. It looks like I have no makeup on. It's creeping me out. Um, I brought, I went to Sally's, when I was at Sally's. Ugh. I'm like talking really fast, I'm out of breath. L'Oreal Ever, Ever Pure Brass. I'm like really out of breath. And it's just instantly be I can't never say this. It instantly beats blue 